All right, Surf Rat out here in Las Vegas for the Mint 400. We're standing on Fremont Street, hanging out with Matt Laughlin right here. He's getting ready to go out to race tomorrow. This is uh, kind of the calm before the storm. And uh, how you feeling, Matt? You ready for this? I think we're ready. You know, we, we put in a really good prep on the car, and uh, we just switched from the 12 car to the 10 cars. We're still figuring some stuff out. We feel pretty confident. We had some good test sessions, uh, still running, so. You know, it's a rough course. I think we're just going to kind of take it easy at first and then kind of turn it up as it, as it gets a little spread out. But um, we're really looking forward to it. This is our favorite race of the year. I mean, down here on Fremont Street is so much fun. And I know that you've uh, stepped up a little bit. You guys were in the 12 car before. You went in a 10 car now. And uh, you guys have done quite a lot of work to the car. How's it, uh, how's it performing for you? Does it fit to your style? Uh, yeah, we had Penhall cut off the front end and then put on the arms. And then we... Uh, we had our buddies Brian and Leonard Carr at Car One Fabrication put the Ecotech in it, and it's night and day from from the 12 car, the ride, the power. It's it's fun. It is it is so much funner to drive, and uh, we like it all around. I mean, there's not one bad thing about it. We're running pump gas now, which is really nice, and it's it's a lot easier to prep. So uh, we're really excited about the 10 car. And the suspension, I don't know if you guys know, but this whole car was cut, the whole front end was completely cut off of this car. I'll step out of the way and you can see it's a Penhall car. And uh, this whole front end was completely cut off and they redid it. And people are getting loud around us, so you gotta excuse that. But um, yeah, no, you guys did a lot of work on it. The car looks great. I know you guys have done a little bit of testing, getting ready for it. You get, you're coming off a second place in Laughlin uh, for the Laughlin race that was out there. and so. You haven't raced since, so uh, you feel like you're you're ready to sit in that car for what four or five hours? What is it? Six hours? I don't uh, know. I'm just doing the first two laps, and Brian, uh, where's he at? Uh, he's he's driving the second two laps. So, uh, hopefully, four and a half hours, everything goes good, you know. But um, and that's fine in the ten car, twelve car. It would probably have been a little long, but it was it was pretty brutal when we were out here last time, and I would imagine it's only gotten worse because it's been raced on a few times since then. So. You know, we'll see. It's definitely going to be better than the 12 car, but uh, it's still going to be brutal. All right, there you guys have it. Matt Laughlin in the 1003 car getting ready to go out and do some work tomorrow. Back in the office for you, Matt. Thanks for the interview. Oh, wait. Any more, uh, like, plugs for your uh, sponsors? How about that? Oh, I got to thank my mom and dad, l &M Food Service, and my my grandfather, Don Laughlin, and Riverside. And, you know, they're the ones that, that pay for this whole fiasco. And then me and my friends, you know, working in the garage every night trying to you know, get it together, prep it, learn it as we go, and uh, it's it. You know, it's them that really make this happen. I just got to drive the damn thing. He's got the tough job, people. He just jumps in the driver's seat and gets work done. That's how Matt Laughlin does it. So, uh, signing out from Fremont Street. We'll see you guys next interview.